Alright, so from this video onwards, we are going to see how we can create our own model and all the necessary parts related to a model and build a CRUD application. So we want to see how we can create, read, update, and delete an instance of a model. So far, we've been using the user model and create user migration file that came in with the Laravel project when we installed it. But we want to see how we can create our own. So let's go to the terminal and run PHP artisan make model with an H flag. So this command will create a model for us and it requires a name. But we also have these options and the first one is an A flag which would generate all the necessary parts that we might need for our application. For instance, a migration document, which we definitely need that one. A seeder and a factory, which is used for filling our database with dummy data. It will create a policy for us, which is used for authorization. So we need that one too and a resource controller which is very useful and we will learn about this one later on and form requests now the last one we don't really need that but it's going to create it for us anyway so we want to run the make model again and give it a name and by convention it starts with a capital letter and it's the singular version of the resource we want to create and let's use the a flag so you notice this generates a bunch of documents and we are going to go through them and learn about them but let's just start with the model and the migration since we are a bit familiar with those so let's go back to our project next to our user model we have a post model now this is the boilerplate of a model now in the user model we had this fillable array that showed these are the fields that needs to be assigned from an outer source like a form so we can do a similar job in our form let's copy this fillable array and paste it in our post model in this fillable array we can define the fields we want for our post or a block post for the simplicity i just want to have a title and a body so this is the first step and just like that we created our model and we can use this post now to create an instance of it or delete or update and so on now let's go to our database folder under migrations we have create posts table it should be the last document in the migration folder again just like the create users table we have an up method and a down method the up method will create the posts table for us the down method will drop that table when we run our migration commands and much like users we need to make sure we have the necessary columns that we defined in our model so we need a title and a body so let's do this under the id we will grab the table variable which is an instance of the blueprint and we can chain the column type we want to use i want to use the string type for the post title and again remember these column types are all available in laravel documentation under migration section then we need another column for our body now this should be a longer text so we have text a full text long text and so on and these are all text column but with different sizes for our project just the simple text is enough so we want to call this column body and that's a simple migration file that would create a post table for us with these columns let's actually run our migrate command and see what we get so back to terminal if we just run php artisan migrate it would create that table for us right and let's go to mysql if we check out our tables we have the previous ones but now we have this post table that we just created and if we take a look at that table we have our columns id title body and these two timestamp columns now this is fine but we need to have a way to link this table to the users table we want to have a relationship between these two tables and we need a field here to show a post belongs to a user so we want to have a column in our posts table that would correspond to the user's id so we have actually a foreign id function here that would create that column for us and we want to call it user underscore id we can call it whatever we want but this is a convention and it is for a good reason and i will explain it in a second then we want to make sure this is constrained now in this function we can pass the table name and the column that this foreign id is related to but since we are calling it user underscore id laravel would resolve the table name to users and the column to id so we don't have to actually include anything in here now we can leave it as it is but i want to chain another method here and that is cascade on delete this would delete the user's post when the user is deleted for example if we provided the ability for the user to delete their profile we want to delete their posts as well when they do so but this part is completely optional if you want to keep the posts you just omit this part anyway we made some changes here 
and we need to re-migrate our tables otherwise the changes are not applied in our database so back to terminal we can roll back one step and then run our migration again this would solve the problem so if we describe the post now we have user id or we could just run migrate fresh this is going to drop all the tables and create them again so that means if you have any users that is going to be deleted too and that's fine at this point again we are just practicing and if we need a user we can easily create one all right so now we have this user id in here but in our model we are only saying that title and the body needs to be filled we want to ask ourselves do we want to fill this user id manually every time we create an instance of the post or is there a better way we will talk about this after we talked about resource controllers because we actually want to have the functionality and we can't do that until we learned about resource controllers and routes so let's do that first 